So we're here in Bridesburg, right in the northeast side of Philadelphia, to check out a joint where they're using grandma's recipes to make it the real deal. This is Mom Mom's Kitchen. Two orders of potato pierogies coming at you. Mom Mom's is soulful Eastern European food. They put a little spin on it. The roast pork pierogi for table three. They make everything by hand, and you can tell. That scratch-made menu, put out by self-taught chefs Caitlin Wines and Ryan Elmore, is all about Caitlin's roots. My mom -om is my grandmother. Mom, -mom? mom -om, yes. We do a mix of traditional Polish and new generation. New generation Polish. Yeah. Two pickle soups for the bar. This is our roots. Even when they do cheesesteak pierogi, they're still a total homage to my mom. Philly cheesesteak pierogi. The Philly cheesesteak pierogi is basically a Philly cheesesteak wrapped up in a pouch. You actually don't even miss the bread because the pierogies are that good. All right, so what are we going to make? We're going to start with our dough. We start off with some sour cream. This is Mom Mom's recipe. It's actually not. Ryan and I developed these recipes on our own. Melted butter, oil, whole eggs, and whole egg yolks. AP flour? Yep. Kosher salt. How long are we going to mix it? Three to five minutes. It does rest for how long? Usually overnight for us. Take the dough, we'll sheet it out, punch out the rings. So you made that look real easy peasy. Now we make the filling. We'll start off with a little oil on the grill. Thinly sliced ribeye here. Look at that, pushing one spatula off the other. This is some Cooper Sharp American cheese. To think that you didn't have a culinary background, you sure move like you have a culinary background. <laughs> Quite a few pierogi that we've made. How many think it is? I wish I knew how many I've eaten in my lifetime. <laughs> All right, so nice mixture of that. The dough is ready to go. Should I start timing her? <laughs> Oh, look at that little technique. Mm -hmm. Try not to get any filling in the seam In between there. the two. Turn it over, a little pinch again, and there you have it. That's a good looking pierogi. These go into the water for three minutes, bring them out, let them cool. Toss them on our flat top grill to sear for a couple of minutes till crispy on each side. Whoa, 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 what is that? Black pepper ketchup. Ketchup on cheese steaks? I've never I heard mean, of it. I mean, I'm a fan. Really? Yeah, really? it's a big thing. Ketchup and egg. <laughs> OK, he's a no. Scrambled eggs. Oh, oh God! <laughs> you be the judge. Caramelized onions. And these cook for hours, so they're super sweet. Little scallion. That's all she wrote. Have it. Am I supposed to eat these with my hand or with a fork? Hand is totally acceptable. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I've had a lot of pierogies on Triple D, and I've had a lot of pierogies just in regular life. That pierogi dough with the sour cream and the whole barnyard of chickens, it's silky, luxurious, melts in your mouth. Wow. It's absolutely wrecking regular cheesesteaks for me right now. And you guys made this up? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I like a little sauce. It's nice to have that little acid, little sweet. Dynamite, dynamite. I mean, this isn't just like, hey, my grandmother was Polish. This is like a legitimate, groundbreaking destination dish. Got your cheesesteak pierogi up. Very meaty, very cheesy, very saucy. Kind of just melts in your mouth. 